trifecta film festival. I know. It's amazing. How excited are you for this? Really excited. A, that we're at Tribeca, I mean, what an amazing festival. B, to be in New York, it's kind of great. You know, the Beatles had so much life here, and they could continue to have such a mark on the city. And we're finally sharing our film with the world, which has, you know, been a long time coming. Talk about the opportunity to sit there with an audience and take it in. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I really can't wait. You know, it's a film that's for the people. It's a film that celebrates people. and laughter and joy and love. And so I hope that we bring a bit of that to the theatre tonight. Talk about the merging talents of Danny Boyle and Richard Curtis. Yeah, Danny and Richard. It, it, when I first realised it was the two of them working together and I auditioned for them, it, it was just, and I read the script, it was just the perfect combination. You know, you've got this beautiful story of love that is what Richard is so amazing at, but it's got this kind of dark underbelly because of this guilt that Jack has for what he's done. So it was just a perfect combination. The way they worked together on set was fantastic. And um, I can't believe that I worked with both of them in one go. I mean, it was crazy. And what is your favorite Beatles song? My favorite Beatles song, I, honestly, I can't name one, but I was just listening to uh, I Want You, She's So Heavy in the car on the way here. So I'll say that for, for now. What is it about the Beatles that we just connect with? It's the joy, the, the, just the complete joy with which they made their music and the soul they, they brought to it and how it celebrated so many beautiful facets of what it means to be human and brought it out in just the most amazing ways um, and their, their integrity as artists. Closing the Tribeca Film Festival. I know. It's always a funny one when you get invited to close a festival because you, well, you think, oh, why is there something wrong? because it's clearly going from strength to strength. No, but it's a great honour, a really great honour. And uh, I have a very special connection with New York because my daughter lives here and has done since she came to college here and she lives here and will probably settle for her life here, I think. So I come and stay a lot, love this city. And so to close its premiere film festival is obviously rather special. So yeah, very, very pleased. And just being able to watch it with this audience, Well, it's always wonderful, you know, you've, you've kind of, but you get to a point where you've seen it far too many times, and the thing it needs is fresh air, and that fresh air is people, and, you know, their reactions to it, and some will, you know, and, it, and they'll vary, and that's a good, that's always a good thing, um, and that's the fresh air that comes to a film, and it changes films as well, you never know what a film is, really, until it finds that fresh air, because it's been locked in a room with me, and Richard, and the producers, and we're kind of the editor and we're kind of doing all this kind of stuff and it needs fresh air like everybody does and that's the audience and when it gets that then you find out really what the film's really about and what it's really worth and its value so it's a it's a nerve-wracking moment but a really important step and you learn that when you make films and like first-time filmmakers are always dead nervous about it but you say this is like as important as the great shot you got at such a time or didn't get or whatever however your fortunes went you know? So I have to tell you, I personally was really excited that yeah. you and Richard Curtis, you know, were united to bring this story to yeah. life. Just talk about working with him and, and how you really complemented one another. He's he's somewhat, I call him, uh, and he he's not able to reply to this, which is a good thing, because Rich has got to reply for everything, really. He's a writer, and you would expect him to. I call him the poet laureate of romance and comedy in Britain and I've always admired him and people think find that strange sometimes because the kind of films I make but actually his writing is he's underestimated I think because he does focus on romance and comedy by his natural inclination but he's certainly one of our most important writers um, so to get the chance to work with him it's a bit like me working with I was very fortunate again with Universal to work with Sorkin Aaron Sorkin who's your you know, arguably you're one of your most important writers. So to work with writers like that is a real gift, you know? And I was brought up on the values of good writing and the importance of writers. So it's great to be able to fulfill that with someone who's, a, I think, of an equivalent status to Sorkin in Britain is Richard Curtis. So. What is your favorite real song? 
<laughs> well, that changes like every five minutes, especially when you're working on something like this. But weirdly, I have this thing where there's the last 40 seconds of Hello Goodbye. I have this weird thing about songs is that if you listen to, there's a Talking Heads song called Found a Job. The last two minutes, 40 seconds of that are just bliss. The last 40 seconds of Hello Goodbye are just like heaven. So there is heaven for me. But there's a few others of them that are featured in the film as well. I think every, almost every person on this planet has a personal feeling or connection to the music of the Beatles. Why is that? Because, they, well, this is this will sound very pretentious, and because we haven't really, science can't back it up yet. But music is buried in our DNA, all of us. And it's when you hear a great song, you feel like you've heard it before. You just go, of course. You don't need, you just go, that is a wonderful song. I mean, it's part of it. I think it's buried inside us as part of us. And as a, it's like a belief system culture that we hang on to. There's all sorts of belief systems, money, religion, war, all these kind of things. Culture is the one that doesn't fight for itself. You know, but it's the most important of all, I think. And a key part of that is music, and it is already in us, really. And it's just waiting to be awakened. And that's the sort of story of our film, really, in the comic kind of This was my last gig. If it has happened by now, it's like a miracle. Miracles happen. Electricity flicked off all over the world. Cheese! <laughs> Yesterday, Ellie bought you a present. All my troubles seem wow. so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Oh Why did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? John, Paul, George and Ringo, the Beatles. No. Stop it. Yesterday. It's one of the greatest songs ever written. Well, it's not Coldplay. It's not Fix You. Do you genuinely not know who the Beatles are? Genuinely. Then I'm in a really, really, really complicated situation. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Sorry, I'm just listening to Jack's new song. What's this one called? Uh, leave It Be. Let It Be. Well, rock on, Jack. Oh, yeah. Tell you something. <laughs> I wanna hold your hand. Hi, we should talk. See, we pay and you write songs, and then you make a ton of money. And then we take most of it. The one, the only, Jack Mallet! We would like you to write something right now. Something in the way she moves. No one's ever written this many great songs. How do you do it? Tracks me like no other lover. Sometimes it feels like someone else has written all the songs. Hey, you. In half my life for you to wake up and love me. But I'm a school teacher and you are the world's greatest singer songwriter. I'm not. Except for you are. It's gonna be the greatest album of all time. I've got two men who claim that the songs are theirs. Let's see how this plays out, shall we? <laughs> Please make some noise for Mr. Jack Mallet. Let me just give you this advice. Song title. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Are you sure? Hey, dude. That's so much better. Do -de -do -de -do -de. 